Okay, so we've got a typical After Effects project here. It's just a basic curtain with a little animation. Uh, the icon pops out when the, the curtain opens up, and there's a little bit of text right here. And what we'd like to do is actually create a custom path for this text to animate in on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and select that text, select that layer right there, and then I'm going to come up and I'm going to choose my pen tool. And it's very important to make sure that the Roto Bezier is checked. And I'll probably actually back this off to about, let's say, 50% here. And we'll start just using that pen tool to draw in the path. So I'm going to click. I'll click again. And you notice the Roto Bezier starts to make these, these nice curves. This line is completely editable after the fact, so feel free to just sort of do a quick and dirty. And this is not going to be perfect, but you will get the idea. And I'm just going to go ahead and draw a line, holding the shift key down. Draw a line straight through there, and I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit the V key to switch back to my, my pointer tool. And that will allow me to actually modify position of this path a little bit so I can clean this up. Now let's see, let's look in this instance I've got probably too many points there. So I'm going to go ahead and push the G key again and that's going to give me back the pen tool and you notice that I get these plus and minus signs as I hover over the either the line or a vector point here. If I go ahead and get that minus key and hover over one of these points click on it, it will remove that point. If I hover over the line I'll see the plus key and I can add a point. I'm just going to go ahead and remove that, maybe maybe remove that one. Okay, switch back to my pointer tool, maybe sort of clean this up a little bit. So you can see you can, you can spend lots of time smoothing things out here. Actually, I kind of want to create a swooping effect here, so we'll bring that one down a little bit. Okay, the next thing is to make sure that the text is attached or associated with this path. So if I open up this text, I twizzle down this text layer, and I take a look. There's been a mask that's uh, created, and that's what my pen tool is. So what I want to do is I want to come to the path options. So I find the text, twizzle it down, find path options, and from the drop down, I'm going to choose the mask. Okay, now you see that uh, text is now circling around here. Now the next big trick here is to actually begin animating this in. And what you want to do here is you're going to focus on the first margin. So I'm going to click the stopwatch, create a keyframe, and I'm going to move the first margin way over. Just keep on dragging that bad boy until it's off the screen. Okay, it's off the screen. Now I move my playhead uh, a couple seconds down. I'd really like this to be finished up about the time this comes out, so maybe maybe right there. I'm just going to go ahead and change the first margin here. Again, clicking and dragging this value until I've animated the text all across the screen here along that path. And let's see, right about there. Yeah, that seems pretty good. I'm going to click back and maybe edit this path one more time. And you notice that that does have an effect on the first margin, so let's go back and modify that again. And I think I'm pretty happy with that. Now let's, uh, let's take a look at this. How does this animate in? Just clicking and dragging. Okay. Um, next thing I'll do is I'll just hold down the function, shift, and F9 keys to add an easy ease in. So now let's watch this in something closer to real time speed. 
And if I want to see it without the path showing up on the screen, I just click down the canvas area there, the stage. And you see I've got this nice little elegant animated text on a path. Very simple, very elegant, just a breeze to use. I encourage you all to play around.